gotta settle, living average Gotta buy my mama crib, gotta buy my dad a whip Gotta buy my bro the world, gotta get it while I Gosh damn, I am obese as you guys just saw, I just weighed myself. It says 196 pounds. I think it's a little bit over a stretch because I just weighed myself like about two weeks ago and it was like in the low 190s. So I think it could be, I don't know, I think it just could be multiple things. I do feel kind of heavy right now, so I think that might be a factor to it. Okay, so I just changed my shirt. I just feel like I have to mention that because it's going to be kind of weird because I was wearing a black shirt and now I'm wearing a blue one. But yeah, anyways, I, just have, I feel like I have to mention Damn, mid 190s though, guys. That is crazy for my weight. Hopefully today, I, today I'm maxing out my squat. I'm not supposed to be maxing out this week. Actually, I have one more week of a, of a working week and then I have to max out. So I technically should be maxing out next week. But the reason I'm not maxing out next week is because I am going somewhere. I'll let you guys, uh, I'm going to keep that a little bit secret towards the end of the week i'll let you guys know where i'm going but i have to regardless because of that i have to max out this week which is kind of kind of bad because i'm taking a week off from like actually like working and progressively getting stronger to just solely like just going straight into maxing out it's a leg day so i'm gonna be maxing out my squat my last my current squat max is 330 i'm gonna try to go for a 340 maybe even 350 depending on how i feel if i hit a 340 i'm probably gonna go straight through a 350 because simply because i i just feel like if i went to 345 i feel like i'm gonna get like tired and just waste more energy so i think going straight to a 350 would be a lot more optimal crazy thing that I, i'm like in the mid 190s though because like i don't even feel that heavy i feel like i don't even look that heavy but regardless or not i'm gonna start cutting soon um technically this is my last week on my bulk so it's gonna be kind of sad i'm gonna stop getting stronger start getting bigger but it's okay next week that will be a uh oh shit i almost said where i was gonna be at but anyways i'm gonna go to the place i'm gonna eat at maintenance and then when i come back i'm gonna start the cut long hard we're about to hit it when i come back from the place i'm gonna be at mm -hmm. it's gonna be march 6th so from there, I'm assuming my, my birthday is on April 3rd, so I'm trying to make it by my birthday. I'm probably going to be around, like, the low, like, maybe 180s, possibly high 170s. So, that's probably, like, my aiming for right now, so we're going to see how that goes. At the end of the cut, I'm trying to get to at least 155 to maybe, even like, below 150s, because I feel like once I get to that point, my physique is going to look good. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. We're talking about losing, like... 40 pounds here, but it's okay. It's I I've done it before. I lost 65 before, and honestly, it's not that hard. Like once you when you know stuff and you know this stuff like scientifically, in and out, like in the back of your hand, like honestly, like it's it's not that hard. The hard part about losing weight is the mental game. But I feel like I'm gonna get this one down to the very. I got this. I got this. That's all I say. You guys, currently I'm outside food for less. I brought my mom to the store to go do some groceries out because we have like no groceries at home right now. We have groceries, but we don't have like the little stuff that's important, like milk, like eggs, and all that stuff. The things that go like pretty fast on a daily basis. Get back home, guys. And right now, currently I just like eating a whole bunch of food, just trying to get a whole bunch of like micros and all that stuff, micros, so I can be good for later on tonight. Oh, he's crying. Is that Mommy. little? Mommy. Where's he at? Did you bring the ball? Come here, buddy. You good? You playing with your little toys? You playing with Daniel the Tiger? In the bat cave? Where's Where's the Batman? Where's the There's a bat cave, but there's no Batman. Johnny, where's the Batman? You want chicken? Alright guys, that song that you guys are just hearing guys, if you guys haven't heard, I mean this like, I mean I'm pretty sure you guys never heard of him because he's like pretty like, not a lot of people know him, he's not really that big on YouTube or anything, he's not really that big on Spotify or anything, but there's this rapper called Josh A, I think he's like a teenage kid or he might be like in his like early 20s and stuff, he raps and honestly his rap music is freaking fire, it's like really unique, the sound is unique, everything about it is just really unique and something that you don't really see in mainstream like music these days, so in my opinion it's really cool, it's a really good refresher, go check him out, Josh A. I know you found him on YouTube or Spotify. Um, his little like he's like he has like four albums and I think it's called and like two of his albums is called Blessed One and then Blessed. I mean no, my bad, Blessed Two and Blessed Three. If he might have a Blessed One, I, I haven't found a Blessed One. It's not on Spotify, I think. Or it might have been. I just probably didn't see it. Anyways, guys, I just want to tell you guys this video that you guys are currently watching right now, guys. It's probably a long one. I did not say this in any of my videos before. I actually. 
by the time I'm posting this video, I probably took like five days off. And I didn't really technically take five days off. The thing is going on is that I'm gonna put three videos into like one because I'm gonna be maxing out tonight. So I'm gonna put this video mixed with tomorrow's video that I'm gonna, well, you guys are seeing it all in one video, but I'm gonna put my three days of me maxing into one video like how I did last time because that video did really, really good. And honestly, I think it's just a lot better. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. 350, I'm coming for you. What's up, motherfucker? Fit me. You feel awful? He's never gonna fit you? For me, I'm in a dilemma, guys. This is Jacob's shirt, and this is a large. I usually a medium all around and alpha. That's that's medium right there for Jacob. But I'm gonna look this on the website right now because I feel this one runs a little bit big. That's the reason it's like this and it fits me pretty well. Cause look at this. This is better than the Proba Never Satisfied shirt. The reason I don't wear the Proba Never Satisfied shirt is because it's freaking long as hell. Alright guys, now for today's gym session, I'm gonna hit it actually with Mark and Jacob. Z today doesn't feel like going to the gym and with Dylan, I don't know, Dylan said he had a birthday dinner she has to go to. Luckily, I'm going to be the only one PRing out of all the groups, so it's going to be cool. After squats, I'm just going to sit there, relax, chill, recover, and get ready for the next workouts. And I'm going to watch these guys, or this guy, do his lovely sets. What do you got today? Don't you got a 4x4? I think so. Yeah, you got a 4x4 on 315. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Are you gonna, I'm just joking with you. Are you going to do it? Say, say screw it and just do it 4x4 on 315. Why oh, crazy? Why not? Be fun. Fudge, bro, it's cold. It's fucking crazy. It's freaking crazy. Bro, you know tomorrow at 7 a.m. is going to be 30 degrees. Bro, I hope it freaking at rains and it freaking starts That's snowing. Bullshit. I had my window, I had my window open last night. And this is a I'm taking my hoodie off inside. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni Rosas, how do you feel? I'm tired, dude. Just push the ball. Are you actually fine? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm gonna pay you money for this shit. I know, you still owe me money. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to the second day of the vlog. As you guys just saw, I was winning, winning uh, this morning, 193. Yes, I weighed myself at 196. I kind of got scared. I was like, damn, bro, did I gain that much weight over the weekend? I was like, all right, we're good. We're good. 193. That's not bad. All right, guys. I am home for a little bit. I've been, I've been home for a little bit, and uh, the mailman came in. Yeah, and this little guy's here, too. What's up, Johnny? We got this package in the mail right here. With no words whatsoever, I'm just going to show you guys a quick little something wow. of what this Ooh. is. Okay. I'm going to show you guys. That's right, guys. We got a new camera. Okay, yeah, so the camera actually isn't mine. It's for a family member of mine that I'm going to go visit this weekend. I'm going to leave on Sunday, and I'll be back a week from now. I'm going to still continue the vlogs over there. Now, I don't want to say where I'm going to because I'm going to leave that for the vlogs until where we get closer to the day of because I'm not going to be in this country. I'm actually leaving the country, but I don't want to spoil exactly where I'm going to. It's not a really a big exotic place, but it, it's, it's kind of cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to open up this camera. It is the Sony... What is that camera this is? It's the Sony A600, 6000. So I'm actually gonna unbox this camera. This camera actually was only like 600 bucks at Walmart when it came with a whole bunch of all this stuff. It came with an extra battery, memory cards, uh, this little tripod right here. It comes with a whole bunch of extra stuff, lenses and stuff. Usually a package like this cost about like a grand, but this one was on sale like $400 off. So it was only like 600 bucks, which is pretty, pretty cool. As I was saying, I'm gonna go visit that place. I'm gonna go visit my family member on Sunday, so I'm gonna have this camera here with me for a little bit because he ordered it to my house and I'm gonna go deliver it to him, to him. In the meantime, I was thinking, I should be careful with the camera. Why don't I vlog with it? I'm going to unbox it right now. I'm gonna put a memory card in it that's already, it already comes with a memory card because with the 64 gig memory card, so I don't have to use mine, which is perfect. Because if I use mine, I'm gonna have to format it. So it's perfect. I'm just gonna transfer the footage over and it's gonna be good to go. Just let me know if you guys see the quality difference because I might, if, you, if there's a big quality difference, I might consider investing into one of those because honestly, I've been wearing a Sony camera, like one of those A7Xs, but for the meantime, I'm gonna do it with the G7X because the G7X, honestly, it has perfect. It's like, it's small, it's compact. It has a little flip screen, it's it, everything I need. Bunny. What's up, buddy? No, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, yeah. Mom. Okay. Mom. Yeah. Look, mom, it's like camera. Yeah. What's that? Grandota, I don't know if it's a monster. Is that thing that came in Yeah. <laughs> is it working? Is it autofocus? I don't even know. I, just, I don't even know how it looks like, dude. Does, is, is it working? Do you see the back? Yeah. Is it working? On. It's on? Yeah. Is, is it has zoom in? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it's zooming. Yeah? It's zooming in? Yeah? Damn, this autofocus is actually pretty nice. I like this. It's very cool. Well, and if you need to play Fortnite, now you can take some dubs. Have you ever played Fortnite? All you do is watch like Fortnite like live streams and stuff, but I've never seen you actually like play it. Interesting. This is what we're working with right now. This is the setup right now. I'm using my Adobe tripod. And this little guy over here is screaming. What's up? What are you saying? Come here. Wait, what? It's the what? Okay, do you understand this? Yeah. Okay, you can jump whenever, wherever you want. Uh, press on the D on the this is the touchpad, so that's gonna give you like your map and stuff. How are we looking right here outside? I wonder how this looks. So far, honestly, the vlogging with this camera looks a lot cooler, and honestly, it probably draws a lot more attention. So later on tonight, when I go to the gym, I'm probably gonna take my G7X because I don't want to take this camera because we're at the gym. I don't want to like guess when I when I when I go to the gym, I put my G7X in my pocket. So, I don't want to put this camera doesn't really, really, fit, really fit in my pocket because like the lens is like fat and it pops up in there. I don't. Really, I wish I could go in there with like a tripod and all this other stuff, but I don't want to because it's gonna draw too much attention. And I've only gotten a, ha a handful of times I have gotten people telling me like, "Yo, can you please not record me all this stuff?" Because they just happened to be in the background. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, no problem." And if I feel like I went in there with a, this type of contraption at a commercial gym, people will start losing their heads. So, yeah. I actually have been wanting to switch to a new gym, but I do live in Santa Cruz, so there's not really like a gym out here that like I know that's like dedicated and like that like it's like for people who like are not like there's like it's kind of like something something kind of like Barbell, you know what I'm saying? But there's not there's not really gyms out here like that other than like Barbell, which Barbell is like an hour away from me. But me and my friend Z were talking about that. What if we switch to Zoo Culture? Now, Zoo Culture, it is Bradley Martin's gym, and Bradley Martin's gym is like about, tw it's in Chasworth, which is only 28 minutes away from my location. But keep this in mind, guys. We go to the gym like every single day, so, or except for Sunday. But driving to Chasworth, 28 minute drive every single day to go to the gym, the gas is gonna start to get expensive. 
it, we're probably gonna get tired. I'm just gonna be tiring driving home at night because we like to go to the gym later on at night in the evening. So that's probably not the best logical thing to do, but it's a thought. <laughs> we got 3.30 today. 2.30. 2.30? 2.30 today. For you. For me? <laughs> Got two Look, I'm undercover. Got two thirty. Oh, use up. <laughs> you betrayed, huh? Hey, not. I got this for free. I might as well use it. I'm gonna blur all this out. <laughs> Put Alfie on it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you gave it to me. I give it to him. I know. Back in the day when they said, "Hey, look, it's Dilly." Dilly. Want some crack? Genders, high rise, get 22s like Bender. Got a lot to say, I'm out of getting paid. I stun on my rivals like my name, Amadeus. Heart broke once, said never again. Only regret, never got revenge. Haven't done shows, my fans like win. Only doing those when they sell out events. Hold it down, man, I try to hold it down. I've been all around, man, I've been all around. Feminists on Nuke Town, swear those were the days. Feminists on Nuke Town, swear those were the days. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Alright guys, today's the next day of today's video and we are back on the little G7. X. I haven't started editing this video yet, so I don't know how the Sony camera looks like, the the camera quality, so I'm gonna figure that out later after I'm editing this video, but you guys probably already saw it. So, yeah, if you guys like the camera quality, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, it is 6.31 right now. I have to go to gym. I leave to the gym to go pick up Z from my house at 7 o'clock. Today is a day. Today is my deadlift session. Today we're gonna PR. We're gonna talk about all my maxes towards the end of the video, so pretty much after today's workout, we're gonna figure it out. But honestly, so far, the way my maxes are going, I'm pre I'm really happy about my squat. Did not see that coming. My bench, a little disappointed. I got what I wanted, but just a little disappointed on how long it took me to get to that point. My current deadlift max is 405. I'm gonna try to go for 425, but this is the thing, guys. All I need, I'm five pounds away. Five pounds away from having a thousand pound total, which in my opinion, that would make me super duper happy. Remember back in football, people used to at least like give, like coaches used to give shirts to people who had like a thousand pound total, and there wasn't a lot of those, so that, that's pretty, that's a pretty good. You do gotta keep in mind though, in football, we didn't do deadlifts, we did power cleans, so it was a thousand pound total of a power clean, bench, and a squat, which power clean, I don't really think anybody had like anything past like maybe 300, because power clean is hard, a lot harder than it, like to deadlift and all that stuff. So you had to have a high bench and a high, have a high squat in order to get to the thousand pound club. Yeah guys, currently my total out of everything is, 100, is 955 pounds, which five pounds of weight, wait, 995 pounds, what am I saying, 955 pounds, 995 pounds, which means I am literally five pounds away, so if I can at least hit a 410, then I'm exactly at a thousand, but we don't want to settle for low, we're going to go rise up above and beyond, and we're going to try to hit 425, which I'm going to do from a 405, and I'm going to slap 10s on there, and I'm going to do it, depending on how the 405 feels though. And we're gonna see that. I don't know yet. Honestly, we're gonna feel it. But honestly, I have feel really, really confident. I've been training really, really hard on my deadlift. I actually, my deadlift has been feeling a lot better. So I'm pretty confident we can hit 425. Maybe even more. You never know. Feel today's workout. We've been taking an up energy drink, the red ones, because those are my favorite ones. And I also thought I thought about taking pre-workout, but I honestly like the like the past couple days I've been taking pre-workout because I've been maxing out and it kind of like doesn't like allow me to sleep so good at night. So I decided I'm just gonna go with a regular energy drink, which we will probably be better off doing it this way. Although taking pre-workout today might be the smartest thing to do because I am super duper tired. 
Uh, like I'm really really sleepy because I did not really sleep well so last night I kept waking up in the middle of the night I had to go to the bathroom I just it was a mess last night I just can't sleep well but one thing is for sure is that I have to go all, like all out today because this is my last day of be maxing out so I don't have to like keep my CNS like fresh for anything or nothing so we're gonna be good and I'm just gonna try to go all out <sighs> think about carbonated drinks sometimes they get me bloated huh the thing about carb carbonated drinks is that sometimes they get me bloated yeah but this time, it just makes me feel like I want to go use the restroom. Easy, come on. Up, 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 up. Fuck. Easy. Got this shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh, Alright, guys. Back home from the gym. All showered up. All nice and clean, guys. And let me tell you something, guys. I do not feel like walking right now. I was walking back and forth from my house right now after I was taking a shower because I went to go get some water. And honestly, I feel destroyed. My back is killing me. My hammies are killing me. I just, I just don't feel good in general. This time around, the PR session, honestly, in my opinion, it was a bad PR session. I, I did, I barely hit 225 on my bench, which is something that I've been struggling with a long time. I just feel that my upper body, like, lacks a lot, except for my shoulder press. I feel like my shoulder press is like. Decent for a person who doesn't really do shoulder press that much like I might shoulder press decent and my freaking my bench like my chest in general has always been a place like that I lack the most at but my deadlift Honestly, I I had a feeling that I wasn't gonna be able to get it simply because last time that I did hit 405 and last time that I pre-art three weeks ago, it's a complete grinder. If you guys saw that video that I posted that I maxed out my three on the big three similar to the video that I'm posting this week three weeks later um yeah, it's pretty much what happened is that it was a complete grinder and then today when I did 405 I tried to do it as a warm-up because I before I hit 425, which is what I wanted Um, I didn't grind it as much, but it still felt a little bit grind I feel maybe I could have gotten the numbers that I wanted to if I had another week of training how I'm supposed to because If you guys don't know like I have a like my program is designed like every four week I've trained for four weeks and then PR but the thing is that I actually took a week off and for the, which is this this week this week I was supposed to train and then I'm supposed to PR next week but I'm not PRing next week because I'm kind of traveling I already explained it earlier to in the in the video that I'm traveling to somewhere and honestly I can't like when you travel somewhere I highly recommend just PRing just so you can get like all the, like the like all your central nervous system like pretty much everything just clear out right now before you before you start traveling any potential PRs that you can make you won't lose them I also explained that the place I'm going to I'm not really sure how the gym conditions are so I won't be able to PR over there so yeah as you guys saw I attempted 425 and 425 did not go up actually I think I'm not sure really I don't really remember I'm not gonna I, I'm gonna put in all the clips because I attempted it like several times I attempted I attempted 425 I think twice and then I went down to uh, 410 because as I said I'm five pounds away from having a thousand pound total. So I decided to go to 410 and it moved, but I didn't feel like it moved a lot, but I was looking through the footage and I honestly felt like if I just kept pushing and pulling and pulling and pulling, I probably would have got it. But the reason I let go is because my back really, really started to hurt a lot to the point that I felt like if I kept pulling, I could see a potential injury. I decided the smart thing to do was just to let go. Yeah, honestly, it wasn't the best PR session. Uh, squat, and I mean, I mean, bench and deadlift was depressing, but squat, I mean, you guys gotta learn how to see the bright side. My squat, was phenomenal at least in my opinion i did not see that coming it went up 35 pounds that's a lot like honestly like for a person that has really really small legs like i, I like i don't think you guys know how small legs i have like you guys I, I think you guys see them in the videos 
my I have family members telling me that like, oh, I see you go to the gym a lot. Like, are you? Do you ever train legs? And I'm like, yes, I do. But the thing is, like, I I don't know. It's just I feel like my squat is decently good for the person like us my like my set leg size. Like, if you guys are familiar with the power lifter Max Tuning, also YouTuber, um. I, I like to consider my legs similar to his because our legs are tiny. The old saying goes, tiny but mighty. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much the PR session. I have one more opportunity to make some PRs four weeks from now. So yeah, which is, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to. But the thing is, I'm going to start cutting next week or not next week, but two weeks from now. So next week, actually technically next week, but not really next week. I'm eating at maintenance and then exactly a week after that one, I'm going to start cutting. So I'm going to eat at maintenance to get my body used to like not eating not as many calories as I'm eating now for bulking season. But as soon as I start cutting, like when you're cutting, you really can't make that many gains except maybe like you might have a small chance in the beginning process of it, maybe like four weeks in, maybe three weeks in. So I'm probably going to PR somewhere around that time. So I might be able to make a gain or two, but probably not really expecting much i probably might stay the same and honestly for all i know i could possibly even go lower because this time i'm cutting like really really hard like i'm like i'm like i'm cutting hard you guys will you guys will see later on and later on through the through the videos to come but i'm gonna be cutting really really hard to the point that honestly i'm gonna get pretty weak which kind of sucks because i'm getting strong and i'm gonna freaking lose all this stuff but it's okay the reason i'm like cutting like so aggressively is because like so i can like literally get rid of as like much like fat as I can so I don't have to like cut for a long time because after this cut I'm probably going to be bulking for like three years until like I'm 21 right now I'm 18 I'll probably be bulking for the next three years so that'd be pretty dope probably like I'll do like two months of bulking or maybe three months of bulking maybe to four and then one and then like four weeks of a mini cut so we'll probably do that for three years guys this is probably one of my longest videos i've done i've I said in the beginning that this will be one of my longest videos so i hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe all that good stuff until next time it's been Bojio, and i'm out Peace. Hey, hey, hey. everybody want to play me everybody want to change me nobody ever gonna phase me no fake accounts like kd doing the shit that i want to nobody i'll ever run to every time i come through take shots but i'm gone proof know that i'm shooting right back